Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we are going to talk about yet another AI IDE, but this time this IDE is developed by Amazon, not from Google or from Microsoft or even some other third party companies. This is a big company, Amazon, which has built this IDE. It's called Kiro. And we already have seen in our Exo Automation YouTube channel about the Amazon Developer Q, which is an AI based CLI tool, which the Cloud Code does or the uh, Google's uh, Gemini uh, CLI does. That's exactly what the Amazon Developer Q does as well. But this one, the uh, Kiro, is going to be competing right straight with the the vibe coding IDEs like Cursor IDE or Windsurf or Microsoft's GitHub Copilot. So all of these are going to be destroyed with this particular IDE. This is quite amazing and I've seen the power already and I'm going to show you that power very quickly and then we'll jump in right into this particular tool in a demo. So this tool, the Kiro IDE, actually does the AI coding with a spec driven development as opposed to directly where you just go and type things and ask the questions and then start writing the code or do the development from there. I know in the cursor ID as well, we can create a requirement.md file and then we can put all our uh, requirement that we wanted to by asking the, the questions in the prompt and then it saves in the uh, MD file. And then from there, we can start using it as a memory for the, uh, for the uh, cursor uh, IDE's agent to work from there. But this one is even more fascinating because it does everything by default with a spec driven development. And they have also got another feature called as the, uh, the agent hook, which does even more great things. So as you can see in this particular demonstration, anytime that you ask any questions like, can you do this operation for me like an email opt-in form then it is going to go and start doing the requirement for you and once the requirement is done it then goes to the design phase where it draws the diagrams and things and then also puts the detailed information of how you are going to be designing this particular operation and if you are happy with this design and if you wanted to even make any modifications you can do it and then from there it goes to the task list where it's going to show you all the tasks which is required for you to perform for every single uh, design operation that you have created. And then you can also run every single task pretty much like a checkpoint. And then you can roll out, roll back to the checkpoint like how you do from the cursor IDs and things. So these are the amazing feature which is already standing out from the rest of these vibe coding tool. And then you can see that they have got something called as agent hooks, which is pretty much like a trigger where you can set up like uh, if you make any change in the project structure, then go and update the documentation. If you set the particular trigger then that particular trigger is going to run for you automatically every single time while you make any of the change in the application so this is a kind of one single trigger that you can do but you can set many different triggers and every single time you make the change the agent hook is going to listen and it's going to update things for you so this is also yet another uh, standout feature uh, from the uh, rest of these uh, toolings like cursor ide or uh, windsurf for that matter so i have already tried this exact same thing with my mcp server that we have got in the github which is uh, this one if you're not really tried it i'll highly recommend you to go ahead and try this uh, uh this mcp playwright this is something which you can use for the uh, playwright automation using the mcp server and i have built this mostly by hand coding and then i started using cursor ide to make the development even more streamlined and faster but now with this particular ide which is nothing but the kiro ide it has gone a level further so this is what i have already tried out before recording this it has just released like eight hours before and i just wanted to show you the first glimpse of how it actually is looking like you can see that over here it has now created a requirement documentation for me basically i asked a, a requirement for it to be created uh, like can you go ahead and uh analyze what is the industry standard missing feature in this MCP server. Uh, not exactly like Playwright tool, but an MCP server which holds the features like SSE support and other things that you wanted to. And then can we analyze the project first and then tell me what are these uh, features that I'm missing in this particular MCP server? Well, I told this, it just jumped right ahead and started uh, doing all the analysis of the code which what cursor and windsurf and github copilot does already i'm not going to blame them but over here it is going to write all the requirement document like an md file over here right this is 
you can do the same thing exactly with the cursor IDE as well. But the good thing is you now have an ability to see everything is stored in an like a memory fashion. And then it goes to the design phase over here where it is going to also draw a mermaid diagram, like an architectural diagram, like a high level architectural diagram to see what exactly the things are going to come out from this particular uh, from this particular requirement and it's also writing a small code snippet for each and every requirement like for example over here it has designed the architecture for the core components and then it is writing the core components what are they like a sse server component uh, and the uh, logging system component and there is also a rate limiter components and monitoring system components so it's also putting all these components for me there uh, in a typescript format which is going to be used while it is going to do the development so this is the design phase right so it's going to put everything over there and then it is going to create a task list for me where it is going to put all the tasks mapping the requirement pretty much like what a user does in the requirement traceability so it does the requirement trace for every single requirement over here in fact you can just go to any one of the requirement over here and do a control T, I guess, or Control L. I'm not pretty much sure what exactly is the uh, shortcut. It will take you directly to the chat window where you can also ask what you wanted to do. And guess what? Once you wanted to, once you're happy with this particular requirement, oh yeah, this is one. The 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 Windows uh, the Command L over here. So once you hit Command L over here, you can run that particular specification, and then you can also start. Uh, doing a wipe coding if you wanted to and then you can also write the specification if you wanted to that, that's how you can actually see you can improve the specification and then start creating the task or updating the task from there which is even more insane and you see that now I have got this particular task over here which I want to implement if I'm just going to say okay now implement the comprehensive logging system I'm just going to hit this particular start this task and you see that now the task is in progress and the Kiro is jumping right in and then it is going to start building things for me. It's pretty much like you have a specification driven development where you have got all the specification clearly written what exactly is going to be built for every single prompt. This is actually a prompt, right? So it's going to put everything in the prompt and we have more control over what exactly is happening every single time. Because while I work with Cursor ID, the only thing which goes very out of control is that it keeps writing every single code and sometimes I feel like some of the code is completely wrong or maybe I need to refactor that code then I go to the checkpoint of the cursor and then I revert everything back if I feel like some of the things are not correct and then I have to redo and ask the the, the, uh, the cursor IDE to write me exactly what I'm actually looking for which is kind of a babysitting work but now this has been resolved with this, with this Kuro because it, it is telling me exactly how it has to be done which is even more amazing and you can also see that now it is trying to do the task for me and because I'm using the free version and I'm also using the, the, the Cloud Sonar 4.0 over here uh, it is going to take some time because it says it's currently the execution is queued uh, and if I'm going to open the task over here look at that so now it's going to show me what are the tasks being executed every single time and it also shows me what exactly the task is being executed so we can see there are two tasks which is currently being executed and they are in queue as well and we can see in the list which is amazing and again i'm using the cloud sonar 4 here and because this is a free version until uh, this particular preview is going to be going to the actual production we are gonna have the ability to use the most powerful models for free of charge for now so i'm just using as much as i can by this time you know what this is better so this is this is amazing this is another feature which i really like about this particular Kuro. And the last thing which I wanted to show you, which differentiates Kuro from the rest of these IDEs is nothing but the uh, agent hook. Look at that. Now, because I'm making a change in the code, it's also doing a documentation sync for me because I have created this particular agent hook, which I told uh, over here that listen to the TypeScript source file and configure changes to automatically update project documentation in the readme file and in the docs folder. Because within our uh mcp server we have got the uh, docs in the uh docusurus and also we have got the readme file so i wanted both of these to be updated every single time while i make any change in the application so that is also going to happen for me uh during the process of the change uh in the application 
this is amazing so code development is going to happen and at the same time there is going to be change in the documentation so we can see this is one another way that we can handle this not only that if you wanted to make some changes in the versioning or if you want to make the changes maybe uh, in the diagram or the requirement somewhere or maybe if you want to make some changes uh, in some other uh, configurations if you make any change in the code then you can all set up everything in this particular hook for you that way you don't really necessarily have to do this every single time and then you remember that you know what i miss this versioning changes or maybe the documentations or maybe i i miss this and that so those things can be taken care of by this uh, this kiros agent hook so this is amazing and i have really not tried this agent steering so far so I have no idea what the, that is, but they also have got this MCP server feature. So you can use the GitHub uh, MCP server, or of course this Playwright MCP server, or the database MCP server, everything you can configure it over here, and then you get the same ability of the MCP servers along with this particular IDE. This is amazing. So it's very clean, neat, more refined. They have learned from the rest of the uh, the wipe coding tools and IDEs. They know how to make this thing more better. So that's the reason why I think it is even more refined from the rest of these uh, rest of these tools. I don't know for some reason it is still in the execution queue, uh, and this guy is still implementing uh, changes for me. But uh, it usually is going to be quite faster, and for some reason it is slower demo time but i could see that this is quite good uh, but the task is still queue but it is going to take some time to to implement it but i can see this is the potential of this uh, this particular tool which makes or maybe set out itself completely apart from or differentiate itself from the rest of these tools like cursor uh, winserve or github copilot because this tool is uh, is looking pretty good and i'm gonna try everything uh, in this particular tool and i'm gonna see how exactly is going to improve my workflow uh, while i'm going to use this but i have already seen some of the benefits of this particular tool because you see that all these code is actually been written by this guy i have not written even a single line of course so far so uh, you see that all these code is written by this tool and you can see the number of lines of code that it has written is it's pretty much amazing and you may ask like Karthik, this is exactly what cursor does of course it does but here i think i feel like it i have more granular control over what every single task is going to be doing and what exactly is happening and how the requirements are clearly being defined and if i want to see if i make any change or updation if i wanted to do it i can also do that same thing i can ask it uh, ask over here in the kiro uh, kiro's chat it's going to be done for me over there so that's it guys that's about this particular uh, kiro tool and this is quite awesome let me know your thoughts about this kiro ide but i think this is quite amazing once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one